Hi, this is Simon. Today I'm going to show you how to install SolidWorks or how a typical SolidWorks installation will go. Um, as a pre-warning uh, or legal advice, I'm not responsible if you break your computer uh, or any other bad thing that happens to you. And um, don't copy or pirate software. This is just for education. I, I am going to install the software after I've uh, installed it, after this video, immediately after this video. Okay, before we start, you need some hardware. First part of hardware you'll need is your computer. Uh, I suggest an Intel i5 or better. Uh, faster CPU speed is more important than more cores. Okay, and you will need a three button mouse. Trying to use SolidWorks without a three button mouse is like trying to swim with your arm tied to your leg. It is near impossible. Okay, the software you'll need today is virtual drive software. I'll tell you more about that in a minute. SolidWorks software. Uh, these will be a disk image. And registry keys, uh, file, and the activation software. Okay, so the virtual Chrome drive software allows you to view uh, copies of disks or copies of CDs, um, which are saved as an ISO file. So this is a program which allows us to read the SolidWorks disks um, because we don't have the physical media. And then these files down here uh, allow us to activate a pirated version. Okay, so this is why we're not doing it, because we're not breaching the copyright. Okay, so the first thing to do is check you have the files. I've already saved them to my little desktop, and I've saved them in three folders. Okay, Actually, step zero, don't pirate. Okay, step one. Install the virtual clone drive software. You can use whatever you want. All this is a software that will enable you to load the SolidWorks files. The next uh, files you need is the SolidWorks ISOs, which these are just copies of the disk. This is the first uh, DVD. This is the second DVD. The first one's eight and a half gigs. The second one's two and a half gigs. Okay, and then thirdly is the uh, registry file and the activator okay so let's minimize this okay so we have the files now the next step is to disconnect from the internet and this is going to be so when it's uh solidworks tries to check the registration number and so forth uh it can't respond to the server can't verify can't tell you no go away you've got these pirated software and you can continue and use it successfully so um, I'm just going to press the little Wi-Fi button on my laptop and it's all been turned off. You can do it in whatever method you prefer, um, either right-clicking on the icon and disconnecting or just pulling out your Ethernet cable. Okay, unplugging your Ethernet cable. Right, um, install the virtual drive software. Okay, didn't like that. Okay, blah 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 blah. You can read it if you want. We always just look at careers anyway. Um, this one here's the main one associated with ISO files. Next, still. This one you can pretty much just click next, next, next. Finished. Um, close. Okay, so that's the first step done. Or the second step done. Right, and still virtual clone drive software. Registry key file. Okay, and then. Okay, so registry key file. Okay, so back to our files. This one I had in my third folder. It can be all in one folder, it doesn't really matter, depends how you've been downloaded them. It's called SolidWorks Serial Numbers. And all I do is right click on this one, go down to Merge, and go Yes. And it's saying you're going to add some information to your registry. This is where if it screws up, it can um, damage your Windows registry, which means your copy of Windows can uh, have problems. It's pretty unlikely, um, so I'm just going to go Yes, go ahead, and it just says. Um, your keys and values contained in the file have been successfully added. So that's just made a, a change to the registry. 
if you wanted to see what it actually changed, these are the values here. So that was just under edit. Um, I've used this one before, or I've tested this before on another machine, so I know that it's um, safe or does what it says it's going to do. But you want to verify your own. Okay. So we've done the registry key files. Now we're going to mount the SolidWorks software, disk images, and install. So what that means is we'll just go to my computer. And in my computer, we've got two CD drives. One is the real DVD drive on the laptop, and the second one's a virtual one. So uh, what I can do, so I'm just going to go back to my SolidWorks ISO files. Okay, so now these have got like a colored icon beside them, so the computer understands what they are. It says they're a virtual clone drive file. I'm just going to click on SolidWorks 2016 Service Pack 1 full DVD 1, right click on it, and go down to Mount. So mount virtual clone drive E. Brings up this beautiful little box, and I'd suggest that you click on this one here, open file folders of view. Okay. I'm just going to take you off slightly off scene so just so you understand what just happened. And then um, but don't follow the step yourself. So if I go back to my computer, two drives are there. This one here is now our virtual CD drive. Um, which has our SolidWorks installation disk in it. And if you open it, these are the list of files that you'll be looking at in front of you right now. Okay, so then we just double click on Setup. This is starting to install SolidWorks. Go yes. It's having a little think. This is an i5 2.6 gig. Uh, it's about five years old. And it's got 8 gigs of RAM, and it's got a hard drive, not an SSD. So it's quite common to what's out there at the moment. Okay, it actually didn't click on it, um, so I just brought it to the forefront. Click Next. All the serial number fields are already installed. That's because we installed the registry file, which saved these all in. Click next. This is where it's trying to connect to SolidWorks servers because we're off the internet, so it can't, and it gives us this nice little error. This is actually a good thing. What we want to do is click on Cancel. It'll go past trying to talk to the server. Then it just tells us pretty much how big everything's going to be and what's going to be installed. We're all happy with that. We want to make sure there's a little tick in this box down here, and we click Install. The installation will start. wonderfully quick. I'm just going to pause the video here and come back to you in a second. Okay, so the installation has been taking long. It's taken about 10-12 minutes so far and it's come up with this little dialog box asking for CD disk 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going down to my computer. Actually, now I've just got the folder open here in the background. Computer, blah, 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 SolidWorks Disk 1. So I go back to my computer, right click on the, the SolidWorks Disk, and I go Eject. Now nothing actually happens on the computer apart from the icon changing because it's not a physical CD, it's the virtual CD. Now I'm going to go back to my files. These are the SolidWorks files that I've downloaded. Uh, right click on this too, go down to mount. Da, 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 da. SolidWorks Disk 2 is open the box again. I'm not going to worry about opening the box now. I'm just going back to the SolidWorks dialog. And I'm just going to click OK. And I was happy. So it's just on a virtual CD swap. Oh, this will be a little bit longer. OK, so another few minutes later. And it's finally finished the installation. Um, I'm going to untick this because I don't really want to see what's new in SolidWorks 2016. You're welcome to do that though. And I'm also going to choose no thank you, I don't want to participate. Finished. And I'm going to restart later. Okay, let's have a little bit of think. Close that box. Right, uh, now last step is to go back to your SolidWorks files, go into the folder that you have your um, activator, and then just run this here. 
SOLIDWORKS 2016 or 2010 to 2016 activator. There's a little box. All you do is just click activate. And yep, it's doing something. There we go, it's got a little dog window up. Okay, that's it, that's all done. So I'm just going to close the window using the X in the corner. Okay, I'm pretty sure that was all done, but maybe not. Let's see what's happening. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's popped a little box. Now we just go, okay. Okay, so that means I'm all done. So I'm going to right click, this has gone back to my computer, right click on the virtual drive and inject the um, disk. Right. So, so far we check the files, disconnect the internet, store the software, registered the files, mounted the SOLIDWORKS disks and we installed them. And we activated the software. Just going to prove that. And we'll have... Okay, so finally searching for everything it's got. Okay, this is the one we want to use here when we use SOLIDWORKS. SOLIDWORKS 2016 X64 edition. It's going to be a few minutes just while it's loading. Okay, so while it's loading, you can turn on your internet again if you wish. Uh, doesn't need to be deactivated any longer. You can also uninstall the virtual clone driver if you won't use that software again. And um, I'm also just going to go and uh, uninstall SolidWorks as well. Yeah, this computer really needs some love. It's, um, well, yeah, literally five years old. With Six years old now, so it's past its use by date. Normally, uh, SolidWorks should take about 20 to 40 seconds to load. On older computers, it generally works um, better on Windows 7 as opposed to Windows 10. Windows 10 seems to run like a dog. Uh, on an older computer, but each their own. Okay, so that's SolidWorks, and yes, just starting a parts document. One well, parts document, just prove that it works. Okay, installed is one thing. Usable might be a different story. Okay, now that seems very usable. Okay, cool. Have a lovely night.